Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're doing another EDC update. This one will be for the month of January. I'm gonna go through what I've been carrying uh, for my phone, which is also my video camera. It's the uh, iPhone 5 and a Realtree OtterBox Defender, because I still stand by that. that is one of the best cases you can get for your phone. Yes, it's pretty bulky, but if you're gonna throw it at something, it works well. If you have an iPhone, you can also check out the LifeProof cases heard they're pretty good, I have yet to try them. Uh, that there is an EDC buff, it's a multifunctional headwear, I believe I have a video explaining it, if I don't let me know, I'll shoot a video on that if there's an interest in it. Um, I usually wear it as a scarf, once in a while I might draw it up around my nose to keep out a little more wind and stop, you know, wind chap lips if it's real bad. For my wallet, I'm still carrying the Countycom LA wallet. This wallet has done well by me. Uh, only thing I don't like is it does not have a bill fold. So if you carry a lot of bills, you're going to end up folding them in half and having them in there. And it's going to annoy the shit out of you. I don't carry a lot of cash with, t to me, not a big deal. Being that everyone's got, you know, the MP3 players and phones and this, that, and the other iPods, iPhones, Androids, whatever. Everyone has music on them. So a lot of people will carry like, e either, you know, the, uh, the iPhone earbuds or skull candies or whatever. Usually the time it's earbuds. Uh, I'm, I like to mix it up. I'm using a pair of uh, Hype One Touches. These are a Bluetooth headset. You can uh, control your music from here. Get your volume, your on off. You can answer and end calls through it. You can also activate Siri and use her. If you're playing music and you hit the phone, it'll activate Siri or if you pause it and then hit it, it'll call the last person. So being able to, to, you know, just activate it, hey Siri, call this person, it comes in handy. Audio quality isn't up there with, you know, the Sennheisers or the Cosses or the Audio Technicas, but they retail for about 60 bucks at FYE. I picked them up on sale for 30 I could have gotten a pair of Sennheiser HD201s, but these had do not have a cable, which is something I was looking for kind of in the back of my mind all the time because I don't like having to deal with cables when I'm either under my car or you know cleaning around the house I don't want to get hooked up on a cable especially if I'm shoveling in the winter so you know for a little a little loss in audio quality I'll take them my secondary knife because that's the next one next to me has been the, um, the ALOX Cadet with a uh, glow fob hanging off the back this has the standard Swiss Army pen knife blade, which I still stand by being I still stand by as being one of the most useful blades in the knife community. Everyone's got their Sabenzas and Striders and shit, but you know what? For most uses every day, a Swiss Army blade is one of the best ones. Um got your nail tool. And your usual uh, bottle, flathead, or a uh, Canon micro flathead, and your ca uh, cap lifter wire bender. It's funny, I, I used to say that, um, you know, there was no use for a Swiss Army. I didn't really carry them. Then I started carrying the, uh, I changed it up a bit, and now I'm carrying, you know, more classic knives more. And I'm really starting to appreciate a Swiss Army and, you know, a slip joint. So my next one is the Streamlight Protac 2L. This is a two cell 123A light, high 180, two strobe, and, oh come on, there you go. Low mode is about 10 lumens. The batteries are dying on me, so that's why it's doing that. I got a rechargeable uh, 3.2 volt lithium ions in there. My other knife, my main knife has been the Caser. Yeah, the Caser. The once this thing focuses for me, thanks, babe. Has been the uh, case um, trapper with the red stag bone handles. Um, this thing definitely has had its had its use. You can see the amount of wear on it, especially on the back spacer or not the back spacer, but the butt, the back of the joints. It's got your usual clip point blade, very effective usefulness and the spade blade which I do not use very often it is a razor now I did mention a little a uh, few minutes ago that the Swiss Army blade 
is one of the most utilitarian blades that, or the most useful blades. If I, help, if I open the right one on this the, uh, trapper here. Well, before I get into that, let me go over my keys real quick. Um, uh, keys are still pretty much the same. They've got the uh, the Cobra Weave on there. It's got a SAC Classic. Focus. Come on. Thank you. Which, again, has seen its use. And a glow fob that has seen quite a bit of use. Other than that, my keys really haven't changed. Now, on my comment about the Swiss Armies being the one of the most useful blade shapes, if you look at the tips on these two blades, in most cases, this one is going to pierce more than this one will, just because of how pointy the tips are. And yes, it's a shorter blade, but for most uses, this will do fine. So I do still carry my, this Swiss Army a lot. Uh, I do have a Swiss Champ as well that I do carry quite a bit as well. I just decided to uh, throw in the trapper, start carrying that a little bit more, and get some use time on that. Other than that, guys, the only other thing I'm carrying is my dog tags, which I'm not going to show on camera. Because it's got my social and some other personal information. <sighs> oh, and a watch. Usually my watch is either the uh, G-Shock MTG 900 or the Seiko Black Monster, which is actually at my it was actually at m my parents' house in my winder. I'm I'm over at my grandmother's still, so I don't have that with me. But that's about it, guys. That's what I carry in my pockets. Got any questions on anything? You know, do you know how to reach me? But that's it for this one, guys. Life's short. Stay sharp.